Good morning and thanks for tuning in to 23 ABC News. I'm Mike Hart. We begin with news that former President Jimmy Carter has entered hospice care. After a series of recent health setbacks, the 98 year old has decided to forego further medical treatment and spend his remaining time with family. ABC Steve Osinsami has more. No American president has lived on this earth longer than Jimmy Carter. And in this announcement over the weekend, we've learned that the 98-year-old world statesman has decided to spend his remaining time at home with his family and receive hospice care instead of additional medical intervention. The family is now sharing that the former U.S. president has had a series of short hospital stays recently, but it's unclear if what's happening is related to the skin cancer that he's been fighting for years. His cancer journey began late in life in 2015 when he was 89 years old, when doctors removed a small mass in his liver and revealed that it was melanoma that started somewhere else and had spread to his brain. There were four spots of melanoma on my brain. By the end of that year, he had beaten the cancer and was back to building homes for people in need. When I went this week, they didn't find any cancer at all, so, so I have good news. Two years later, while building another home in Canada, he collapsed from dehydration. And there is this famous photo of him building yet another one of those homes with a badly bruised eye suffered from a fall in 2019. And even after all of that, here he was, and what we now know will likely be his final television interview, talking with me about the love of his life on their 75th anniversary. What advice do you have for people who want to make it last? First of all, choose the right person to marry. I mean, Rosen say, okay, finally, and uh, stay with me all this long has been the most wonderful thing in my life. He's pretty wonderful in my life, too. The Carter Center is asking for privacy for the family, at the same time acknowledging that this is a former president who was beloved in many corners of the world and in many corners of American politics. One of his grandsons visited the home over the weekend, visited with his grandfather and grandmother, and says that they are both at peace in a home full of love. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.